Hello. In previous lecture, Fraunhofer diffraction by single slit was covered. So before going to diffraction by double slit, let us review the formulas for single slit diffraction pattern. So this is the intensity at the screen due to single slit diffraction. And these are the conditions for principal maxima, mth minima and secondary maxima. For principal maxima, theta is 0. For mth minima, E sin theta m equal to plus minus m lambda where m is a natural number. For secondary maxima, this E sin theta m should be equal to plus minus m plus half lambda. And these are the position of mth minima and mth secondary maxima from the center. So let us start the Fraunhofer diffraction at double slit. Here the single slit is replaced by double slits S1 and S2. S1 and S2 are of width E and D is the separation between two slits. This is a case of diffraction as well as interference. Therefore, there are two contributions in the intensity. One is the diffraction by individual single slits. These slits can be thought of as the light sources emitting a light wave, the amplitude of which is R on the screen. The second term is the interference between the rays reaching at the screen from the individual slits. This problem can be treated as there are two identical sources of light at positions S1 and S2 emitting waves of equal amplitude R and the resultant on the screen will be due to interference of two waves in direction theta. The phase difference between the waves from S1 and S2 is delta. Delta is equal to 2 pi by lambda e plus d sin theta. e plus d is the separation from the center point of one single slit to the center point of another single slit. So to find the resultant amplitude of two waves reaching the screen, we shall use paleogram method of adding two vectors of known magnitudes and known angle between them. So by this method, we find the intensity at the screen equal to 4 i naught sin alpha upon alpha whole square multiplied by cos square beta where alpha and beta are these. The first term is the intensity due to diffracted beams by single slit as we have computed in the previous lecture. The second term corresponds to the interference of the two diffracted beams from two slits. The conditions of maxima and minima are given by these. Maxima is given by cos square beta equal to 1 and minima will be when cos square beta is equal to 0. So the condition for maxima is e plus d sin theta n equal to plus minus n lambda and the condition for minima is e plus d sin theta n equal to plus minus n plus half lambda. Here n is a natural number. Note that the condition for maxima in this case is similar as the condition for minima in case of single slit. And that condition for single slit is E sin theta m equal to plus minus m lambda. Here m is also natural number. And it is clear that m is less than n. So the condition is reversed in this case. Now, this is the condition for intensity pattern at screen due to Fraunhofer diffraction by double slit. The term sin square alpha upon alpha square is given by this pattern. Here, x axis is alpha axis. So when alpha is pi or 2 pi or 3 pi then there will be a minima and when this alpha is equal to m plus half pi then this will give the maxima and cos square beta can be represented by this graph 
here also this axis is beta axis and corresponding alpha values are these so with increasing theta the values of beta increase faster than alpha because the value of beta is greater than value of alpha for a given theta and this factor is greater than this factor so in a range of theta in which alpha runs from 0 to pi only once beta may run from 0 to pi a number of times here beta equal to pi by 2 here beta equal to pi and alpha could go to pi at this point and here beta is equal to 2 pi and here beta is equal to 2.5 pi but alpha could go up to 2 pi only up to this point therefore as a final pattern is the multiplication of both the patterns at theta axis the interference pattern will be found within the envelope of single slit diffraction pattern here this is this dash line is the diffraction pattern envelope and original interference pattern is this so the final diffraction pattern by double slit will be like this this is one example of diffraction by two slits of 3 micrometer width that are separated by 15 micrometer this is the diffraction envelope and this, these are interference fringes. The diffraction envelope is given by sine square alpha upon alpha square where alpha is this pi e sine theta by lambda. When this alpha is equal to m pi, we will get the minima. And when this alpha is equal to m plus half pi, we will get the maxima. On the other hand, interference fringes are given by cos square beta where beta is pi e plus d sin theta by lambda when this beta is equal to n pi we will get the maxima and when this beta is equal to n plus half pi the minima will be tend so we can see that these conditions are reversed at alpha equal to m pi the minima will be found and at beta equal to n pi the maxima will be found. Here, the double slit diffraction pattern is produced by product of patterns in A and B. Therefore, it is quite possible that at any point, point means at any given value of theta, the minima due to A, this or this, and maxima due to B lie simultaneously and this will give the missing fringes in double slit diffraction if this happens the maxima due to b will be absent due to multiplication by zero zero means the minima in the diffraction pattern and this will give the absent spectra in the diffraction pattern so we can find the condition for the same here we know that e sin theta equal to m lambda is a condition for minima by diffraction whereas e plus d sin theta equal to n lambda is the condition for maxima in interference pattern clearly m is less than n by taking the ratio of these two conditions we find n by m equal to e plus d divided by e because we are talking about a single point or a given value of theta Therefore, if E is equal to D, then N will be 2M. So, second, fourth, sixth, maximas will be absent from the diffraction pattern. And if E is equal to 2D, then N will equal to thrice of M. So, third, sixth, ninth maximas will be absent. Further, if E equal to 3D, then N will equal to 4m or 4th, 8th, 12th maxima will be absent from the diffraction pattern in double slit diffraction. 
this is the example of single slit this is the principal maxima this is sec first secondary maxima this is also first secondary maxima this is minima due to single slit and this is the pattern by double slit so this is the envelope by principal maxima and this envelope has five maximas by interference and this is the zero order maxima this is first order maxima this is second order maxima and third order maxima is absent from this pattern this is possible only if the slit width is half of the separation between two slits in this case.